Hey guys, welcome to the Foundation Group. My name is John, and uh, this is the second section for the vehicle and mech design. So let's get started. All right, just as a quick overview, um, I wanted to just give you guys a little breakdown of what we did uh, last in our last session. Um, and this is a little bit of what we went over with silhouette design. So this is kind of the mech section, and this is what we did for the vehicle section here. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take this a step further. And what I mean by that is we're actually going to take one of these silhouettes here and we're going to actually try to construct it and put this in perspective. Now, there's quite a bit that we need to we need to cover in order to get this into perspective. So, I want to actually build us up to that. Kind of build a sense of confidence um, and not necessarily jump the gun and get into the complicated drawing just yet. But I want us to kind of understand why we have to understand perspective and how to control the sense of volume, the sense of weight, understanding good shape design, and last but not least, then going into formulating a really good drawing on top of all this foundation. So let's go ahead and bring my little guides back. And if it helps, guys, um, be sure to put down some guidelines, and it's really simple. All I really did was I just kind of drew over my existing boxes and I just made sure that it's relatively converging. You know, this is a really slow convergence because, you know, we're further away from the camera and also the horizon is somewhere way up here. But as long as it relatively converges and it's not parallel, this will look pretty accurate. But on this box, let's say it's, it's not protruding out, but it's a negative shape going in. So I'm going to go go the opposite direction and I'm going to push in here just like that and I'm going to do the same to this side. Okay, and I'm going to fill in this box here and I'm just going to draw a line that indicates the interior of what is a cut-in of a box. Okay, now we have this form, right? We have all these things. Notice how I kind of got a little bit, you know, fancy here and I made it a little bit more indented in. Now from here I'm just going to transfer the lines over to the end and just make sure that it hits the other side and again I just want to keep in mind the general perspective right. Again if you guys need guidelines go ahead and pull those, pull those guidelines out so you can make a better educated guess here. So one thing about this stuff is, you know, we're doing a lot of freehand drawing, you know, and that's, that's kind of the goal for this is that we want to get a little bit, a little bit more comfortable with the idea or concept of doing this stuff a little bit more freehand and not having to be a slave to guidelines, right? Guidelines are there as, as it's just a means of kind of reminding us, you know, where the general perspective is. Okay, now from here, I'm going to go ahead and connect these lines, right, just like that. Now for something like this, notice how this can get tricky, right? You don't want to go, woo, and it looks all messed up. So a complex shape like this can be a little tricky. In order to determine that, what we're going to do is we're going to actually put this in a box, okay? Now for those of you who are a little bit new to this, we're going to put it in a box only because it's easy it's easier to transfer a box over because again we're gonna use the perspective right we're gonna use these lines to generally understand how tall this thing is right I'm gonna follow the lines here and I'm gonna draw all the way across again we don't want to do this because that's diverging you see that You see how it doesn't follow that line right here so we want to be something in between this line and this line right so the right angle would be something like that okay now depending on how far it goes all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this bottom line here transferred over and I'm gonna go up and that's where our corner is going to be right actually our corner is gonna be here okay, I'm just adding some cool geometry some shapes some things that I think might be cool 
um, and interesting to add to our forms here. We're using negative shape here. Um, maybe some other form like that here. Right, you see how like that quickly evolved into something quite nice and complex and this is kind of what I want you guys to do is just have fun with it let the shapes grow you know what I mean now once you guys do those compound shapes I, I promise you that this this part will become a lot more fluent because now you're just kind of looking at a you're looking at a general uh, you know visual manual or guide to kind of plot all this stuff out you know and I highly recommend you guys to try to do those simple box studies before we get into even this section because you know it can be it can be a handful you know if, if we're still struggling with doing the simple the simple you know geoforms you know then this is going to become really really difficult right so we got to make sure we understand our geoforms before we can do this stuff This is what I'd like to I like to kind of get you guys up to speed next. Um, you know, this is not going to be what I'm gonna require you guys to do this time around, but you can kind of see how much we're actually starting to develop, you know, and how easy it is because we have such a nice base, right? We have such a nice, you know, foundation and uh, perspective here. Okay. Well, thank you guys for your time. I look forward to seeing what you guys produce. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to email um, at brainstormjpart um, at gmail.com. Um, or go ahead and email Matthew Zickery or Daniel Park. Any any of us three, uh, we'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you guys have. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next session. Thank you very much.